Hello everyone, this is Hoovy Maverick, and today we're reviewing the power of... Anyway, today we're reviewing the power of... Now who could that be? Mm. Oh cool. This is the fifth sock, I think. To the key of time. I mean the socks of time because it's an assignment I did for this whole series. From the fifth one, so I'm keeping up, I'm keeping up very well. I'll keep that there. Let's get on to the view. It starts with Ramana and the doctor looking for the fifth piece to the key time this time. And they go on this swampy planet where there's humans living on it, but they're living in a little station where they cannot go to the surface because they're scared of the tribe, which are swampies. Yes, they're called swampies. And they live outside the surface of the planet. And these humans live in a station and they kind of pollute the whole planet. And you know, some people don't like that. They're like the tribe, and they, they they hunt whatever they find, and that's how they. They're probably they're like cannibals, so they live in a swamp. And so all of them, uh, so the the tribe worship uh, worships a god called Krull, and they say that one day he will return to the planet and rule. And so, and then the humans on Earth don't believe these swampies, and they just pollute the planet, you know, like, like factories. So, and they live like in the water, so they're kind of closer to being attacked from the crawl, because crawl is a sea god, and he comes from the water. And yes, crawl does not look good as you think. The age effect, there should, there should be a scene right now where Crawl is like crawling up the whole scene, and you know, it doesn't look like it's aged very well. Sorry, I'm getting off topic, but after the doctor and Mana find out about the god Crawl, the doctor tries to get away from the zombies because they're kind of like hunting, so the doctor doesn't understand them yet. So, but then after he does understand the tribe, he realizes that the humans are the bad guys, and yes, as usual, the doctor thinks the humans are the dumbest people he's ever met because that's just that's just common sense right why people are like why people in doctor who are in old doctor who especially are not very smart they make some pretty bad decisions even new who there's like a lot of characters where they don't make good decisions and they're white what am i saying after the doctor reads the book and reads the tale of crawl he crawl finally submerges in the next day, and then after that, crawl invades the human station because that he's because he's anger. He's angry. He um the humans angered crawl because he's because they're polluting the planet. So crawl attacks the station, and there's like a lot of tentacles around the place. You can see you know, there's a lot of tentacles covering the whole station, and then Romana with her tracker, who, which helps you find the key the key to time finds it and she actually finds out the crawl isn't real and that crawl is actually the fifth piece and then they get the piece and crawl just disappears he just disappears as soon as they find it and then they get the piece then the doctor is like you humans stop polluting the planet just leave just be allies with the swampies they take note of that swampies are like just living their life being a tribe but they're gonna try to be in an alliance with the humans and so with all that, the story ends, and the Doctor and Ramana head to the TARDIS. Now, the thing is, the story was written by Robert Holmes, and yes, a lot of people know him as a really good Doctor Who writer for many reasons. He's written Doctor Who since 1969, since the episode of Crotons, and, or Doc Crotons. And he's really good at writing a story. 
and a lot of people know him for writing a lot of the a lot of good stories for classic Doctor Who. And he wrote this one, and people consider it his weakest episode yet. Now Robert Holmes, about him, he's really good at writing Doctor Who, but people find it people don't like this episode, and then they assume that this is the worst episode he has written. And it's fine. I see why people don't like it it's because it doesn't really have a focused narrative, or it doesn't have a consistent focused narrative on what it's trying to tell. Because it, then, because there'll be like talking about crawl and a bunch of other stuff, and then they'll be talking about other stuff that doesn't matter. Be, there's just like this guy who has been outside the planet, and he's, he's like this kind of human that does that does go outside and, and talks to the swampies. He's like. He just talks about random stuff that doesn't matter at all in the story, which is pointless. So that and there's also a bunch of okay. Also, people don't like this episode because the swampies are just green. They're just literally green people. They're literally just green. They just painted on them, got native clothes, and offended everyone. Uh, crawl doesn't look that good. Yeah, he's a squid, but the story in general, the whole concept of the story doesn't really isn't really important as because key to, key to time and according to all the stories we've had before they're more interesting than crawl is but these are coming from other people not me what i think of the story i think it's fine but i do agree with the point that it doesn't it's not as good as the other stories let me show you what i mean because in the first one we had medieval times planet ribos in the second one, we had a space pirate who pulled, who converged other planets into parts of them, which is pretty cool. And we also have Stones of Blood, which there's a mystery switch that takes blood from other humans and kills them. And there's also, and then we have Androids of Tara, where, where, there's, where there's androids and a lot of, you know, trouble. And then we just have this one. Boo! You stink! I, okay, I like... I like how he looks like. But everything else just makes no sense. The humans in the story are just dumb. They're just dumb. Swampies, they don't talk a lot. They do worship a lot, though. I mean, they do, like... Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I remember. I think. Now, the humans, they, were, they go outside, but whatever they did, they got really far away from the swampies. Now, Dr. Romana, they were fine this episode. They're always, fun. they're always fun to watch because they're the main characters. The ending of... Because when I first saw it, I thought, Crawl's the fifth piece? Pretty random, right? You'd think the fifth piece would be much smaller than Crawl because Crawl's a big creature. But I didn't think he would be the fifth piece. Although, it kind of makes sense because the fifth piece has to be... Because it's a peace to the key of time and time is important right so I don't know why he crawls of peace but he's really big so I guess that's a point and I didn't really hate it just didn't just didn't make sense to the rest of the season unless from collecting a fifth piece now in resolution I am making my rating and I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. It's not bad, but average. Super average. But it's really bad for a Robert Holmes story. Because in the past, he's written stories that I've liked, like The Two Doctors, which is which comes up after that, actually. And he's written... What else? I don't know, but he's written a lot of stories I like, but I can't remember. Except for The Two Doctors, because I recently watched that one. So I have to give it a second attempt because it's so pointless. Most of the stories is pointless. It's either it's bad or it's boring. Except for Crawl, he's really cool. I think he looks cool. And so is the Doctor. I think whenever there's a scene with Ramana, the Doctor, or Crawl, that's what the young series I like. It's either the zombies don't do anything. The humans are dumb, so it just makes you feel bad, kind of like, you know? It makes you feel like watching this episode was kind of pointless. Now, it's okay if you skip it, but you'll feel like there'll be a missing plot point between, so. 6 out of 10 is what I'm getting, just a reminder. 
there really isn't a lot to say about this episode because it's quite forgettable. At all key of time, the first one I forgot was not this one, surprisingly. There was Sons of Blood that I forgot about. But it was the second. This is like this is the most forgettable story. Robert Holmes wrote this one. Okay. How? He was so good. He was also in his prime. I just want to mention. When he was in Doctor Who, he was in his prime. So, yes. Without that, I find Power of Crawl forgettable. But not horrible. Because it's 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. And this is Who Mavericks. I don't know. I'll see you guys. N and also, sorry for posting this on a Friday. I got busy with schoolwork. So, I can see you guys later. And I'll probably post more videos around the summer because I'll be able to do more stuff. So I'll see you guys later and this is Maverick signing off. Oh brother, this guy stinks!